12 of the most bizarre worms ever. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at one of our viewers' comments. Desmond Zieber had this to say. Very nice to listen to. Thank you for listening and commenting, Desmond, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, back to our video. Number 12, the roundworm. Roundworms are the gross little culprits who cause hookworm disease by making their home inside of your small intestine, but they can also occur inside of a number of animals. What they do is they suck up the blood and cause damage to the mucosa, or the membrane that lines our internal organs. The major problems they can cause are anemia due to all the blood loss and an iron deficiency. The overall prevention of contracting one of these worms is to just basically be clean and don't play around in filth. Some individuals experience a reinfection and worms that are drug resistant. Number 11, the pinworm. Pinworms are a nasty group of parasites that you don't want to contract anytime soon. The cause is made by human to human contact and will cause enterobiasis or pinworm infection which is considered to be a very serious disease. The worms will, for the most part, burrow inside of the host's anus, and it's there that the females will lay their eggs and hatch. Symptoms will include itchiness and possibly acute pain that will develop. The symptoms usually occur at nighttime. Not to worry, if you are experiencing these symptoms, then seek a medical professional who will diagnose you and then put you on the right medications. Number 10, the tapeworm. Whenever you hear the word tapeworm, your body normally clenches up just thinking about about those nasty little parasites living in your body. There's a variety of those nasty little buggers that can be contracted when you eat undercooked meats such as beef, fish, and pork. Tapeworms can grow to frighteningly long lengths, and the whale tapeworm, which is the largest species, is capable of growing past a hundred feet. That's horrifying to think that something as long as a whale could be living inside of your body. Thankfully, there are a couple treatments used to treat the infection. Number nine, the Osadax worm. These worms were discovered by the scientists who work at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute back in January of 2011. The bizarre thing about these worms is that they feast on the bones of dead whales. That's a skeleton of food for such little animals. Basically, what the worms do is that they root themselves into the bones and then they soften them up for other deep sea scavengers like snails and crabs to eat as well. This, in turn, helps recycle all of that material back into the ecosystem which is nothing short of incredible. Number eight, the mint sauce worm. These tiny worms are very interesting creatures as they tend to not feed on animals, but on sunlight. Yeah, you heard that right. These mint sauce worms act just like plants and get all their nutrients from the sun. This is because the worms play the host for these small symbiotic species of algae that feed the worm excess nutrients that are created through photosynthesis. How cool is that? Oh, and if you also get enough of these little guys together, they start swimming in a circle to create a vortex to pull in other worms. It's a sort of social behavior that's possibly attributed to their survival. Number seven, the ragworm. There is around 500 different species of these worms, and that in itself seems like way too many of these creepy crawlies just running around, but thankfully, most of them are aquatic dwellers. These guys come equipped with a pair of palps and their teeth are made out of very strong material that is infused with a histidine-rich protein. They use their strong teeth and just as strong jaws to munch on their delicious prey, as they are considered omnivores, but mostly stick to a carnivore diet. There is a certain species that lives in Vietnam that is considered as a delicacy. Number six, Eulogisica gigantea. This definitely looks like it could be the real life inspiration behind Ridley Scott's iconic alien character. Eulogisica gigantea is a type of worm that lives just off the icy waters of Antarctica and can grow to be around 8 inches in length, which might not sound like a lot, but is scary enough just thinking about it. Its body also comes equipped with these fine bristles, but also tiny protective scales that keep it safe from hungry predators. Although, any animal would be crazy to want to willingly eat this thing. Not much else is known since they are hard to study. Number 5. The Bobbit Worm. Oh no no no, not today Satan. If you don't know what a Bobbit Worm is, then consider yourself lucky, but not really because you're about to find out just what these things are. Well, obviously they're worms. These aren't the ones you want to pick up. They're capable of injecting their prey with a toxin that will stun or kill it. When the Bobbit Worm strikes, 
can do so at such a lightning speed that it often cuts its meal in half accidentally. It leaves a tiny portion of their antenna sticking out of the sand, and when it senses movement, it strikes. Number four, this mysterious worm. The 2015 video from which this image was taken from shows a person holding this worm, and then suddenly out of nowhere, the worm shoots out this white thing that starts branching off, and it looks like a tree or veins. The white thing that it shoots out has been identified as its proboscis, which it uses to naturally catch its prey. If it does manage to catch something, the prey is then swept back up inside of the worm as its proboscis retracts, where it will then be digested. Experts believe that the mysterious worm is really just a type of ribbon worm. Number three, the methane ice worm. These methane ice worms are located towards the bottom of the ocean floor at around 800 meters or a little more than 2,500 feet below sea level. They were first discovered all the way back in 1997 by a biology professor named Charles Fisher, who worked for the Pennsylvania State University. He found the worms living on the ocean floor of the Gulf of Mexico, where they were colonizing the methane ice, hence where they get their names from, and survived by harvesting the present bacteria that would metabolize the clathrate. The larvae get moved from place to place by currents and will die in 20 days if they don't find somewhere to feed. Number two, the velvet worm. These worms are particularly interesting for how they manage to capture and feast upon their intended prey. When a velvet worm senses a nearby animal, such as a beetle, it will end up shooting a slimy substance out of its two modified legs that are known as its oral tubes. The tubes are slime glands that shoot out at less than 80 milliseconds. That is remarkably fast for such a slow hunter. Once the animal is hit, the glue begins to harden and the worm then makes its way over to feed on its dinner. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these bizarre worms creeped you out the most, and don't forget to subscribe. And now, number one, the Antarctic proboscis worm. Here we are, number one. The pink stringy blob mess that you see isn't a colorful piece of coral, but rather a terrifyingly large Antarctic proboscis worm. Don't worry though, because you won't be running into these deep sea monsters as they live around 12,000 feet below sea level, where they are capable of growing to enormous lengths of up to almost seven feet long. This worm doesn't have a respiratory system, and therefore it gets the oxygen it needs to breathe through its skin from the oxygen-filled waters of the Antarctic. Hungry predators avoid these worms as their bodies are covered in acidic mucus.